because it's mathematical induction, it's still a formal proof. So we still need to go through the steps. But here, we're going to be proving that an equation is divisible by a number. So that's what we mean by basic divisibility. The best way to learn this is to jump straight into a question and that's what we're going to do now. So let's jump straight into question one. In question one, we want to prove that six to the power of n plus four is divisible by five. So the idea is we want to somehow prove that this is divisible by five. And we still want to follow the same process of mathematical induction as we did in the previous module. So the first step is to show it's true for the initial value of n. And that's going to be the lowest integer that satisfies this up here. So we start off by substituting in zero. So six to the power of zero is one. One plus four equals to five, which is definitely divisible by five. So we can say, therefore, it is true for n equals to zero. So moving on to step two, this is where we make our assumption. So we want to assume that this is true for n equals to k. So how we write that is, that is six to the power of k plus four is divisible by five. So instead of writing equals to, which is what we did with the equations, we just write is divisible by five because that's what we're trying to prove. So using that assumption, we can say that six to the power of k plus four four equals to five M. So now we make an equation based on that because if it's divisible by five, it means it's gonna be any integer always multiplied by five. That makes sense, right? If something's multiplied by five, then we have to assume that it can also be divided by five. So this is why we say six to the power of K plus four equals to five M, whereas M is just any other integer. Now, in step three, we want to show that it is true for n equals to k plus one. So same as previously. And that is, we write six to the power of k plus one plus four is divisible by five. This is what we want to prove. So previously we started off with left-hand side. Well, there's not really a left-hand side or a right-hand side here. We just start off with what's been given. So we have six to the power of k plus one plus four. And now what we need to do is to manipulate it so we can make it equal to five multiplied by an integer to show that it's divisible by five, right? That's the best way to show it. So we wanna manipulate it so we can factorize five out. So first thing we wanna do is separate this into six to the power of k times six plus four. And why I want to do that is so we can use the assumption that 6k plus 4 equals to 5m. So you can see that if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get that 6k equals to 5n minus 4, which is what I've substituted into here. Yep. So instead of 6k, I've written 5m minus 4. And now I just want to expand that. So five times six gives me 30N, negative four times six is minus 24 plus four, which is 30N minus 20. And we're factorizing out five, that leaves me with six M minus four. So you can see that I factorize out five. So we can say that which is divisible by five. So therefore it is true for N equals to K plus one. Now, before we go on to the conclusion, I want to make a point here. Now, can you see that to show something is divisible by five, I have to be able to factorize out five. But the other thing is, what's in the bracket must be an integer. Right? Because what, imagine if I had five times 6m divided by four. Now, if this is a fraction, like 0.2, for example, and multiply that by five, that number is not going to be divisible by five, is it? Because essentially what you would have is five on four out here. So remember, you always have to check that what's in the bracket is definitely an integer. And you can see that because it's six times m, and m we made into an integer originally, 
minus four and there's no fractions or decimal places, then that must be an integer. So that's why we can say therefore it is divisible by five and true for n equals to k plus one. So how we write the conclusion for this is therefore six to the power of n plus four is always divisible by five. Okay, so as previously, we need to have this conclusion here, but the conclusion, rather than saying it is true for n is greater than zero or one, we say it's always divisible by five. 